Right guys, we are back. We obviously had our coffee video earlier, coffee and catch up. Um, we're at one of my favourite gyms today, John's Muscle Works Gym, Orpington. Um, again, just a little, to familiarise yourself with this gym, this is the gym that me and Luke Sando used to train in um, for his preps. Uh, ben used to train here as well with Luke prior to that. So it's a gym with a lot of history with our own training. Love this gym. Um, and we decided to change the scenery today. So we thought we'd come here. So um, today is a funny one, because you don't really see me do this, but it's an upper body day. You're very used to seeing me do about push pull legs, which is something I had adopted for a long time. Uh, the training has been a little bit different since training with Nathaniel. So we actually have like an upper and a lower day on the later half of the week. So today is an upper day. So that means that we'll do a little bit of back, uh, a little bit of chest and a little bit of shoulder. Um, I don't think there's any arm stuff in there, but I'll double check. And um, yeah, and then tomorrow I do legs. So today, for a, like I say, for a change of scenery and some different equipment, I thought we'd come here and um, mix it up. And uh, it's going to be one of them workouts where I show you a couple of things that I've got from one of my friends at Tough Wraps. I've got some, um, some nude little items that I want to show you and I'll use them today, give you a little bit of feedback on those. Um, getting this in, I had my pre already, this is my intra, this is the Yamamoto Enigan, you've seen me use that before. It's our carbohydrate, cyclic dextrin, uh, mixed with essential aminos and a lot of other stuff. So if you want to check out Yamamoto Nutrition, look in the links below. Um, Enigan is that product. Other than that, it's me, I'm flying solo today because Nathaniel's competing tomorrow, so no Nathaniel today, just myself. Um, but we'll just take our own time. Shouldn't take long because I'm on my own. And uh, I'm just going to basically talk through the workout. It'll probably be a little bit more of a talk one today because when I'm on my own, I just ramble. So welcome to Muscle Works, Upper Body with me, James Hollingshead. And uh, let's go have some fun. All right, before we start, I just wanted to highlight a couple of things. Obviously, at Muscle Works, if you want your food and stuff, the guys have an awesome kitchen here where they do food. They have the fridge here as well with all the um, ready to go stuff. Many of you will be happy to see that they have the proper original Coke, Louis in particular. So yeah, you can also get your food here guys. Great gym, obviously loads of seating area. So it's not just to come train. If you want to have your food and stuff here, come check out Muscle Works for your food. Again, you'll see this video later. A couple of new things released from my guys at Tough Wraps. We've got the Hawaii style uh, wrist supports. I ordered myself some new sleeves. These are the dual ply. So I'll be using these today on my pressing movements. Um, but like I say, I use these today as well. I use wrist support sometimes, but my wrists are quite good, so I don't use them too often. Um, but if you do have, obviously, wrist issues, these are great. I'm gonna do a, a high line press because I feel like it's been too long since I've done it. Nathaniel does an overhead press, and uh, the man in me is, is craving an overhead press, so I'm probably gonna be very weak on this today. We're gonna do a kind of Jordan Peters style. We're gonna go with this like, I don't know, about 23 degrees. I'd say it's 23 degrees. And uh, this is going to be our first movement today, which is going to prioritise shoulders and chest. So, probably do two to three working sets on here. Just get warm, see what's what. Tip: pick up the weights and use them this way. It's easier to hold. Okay? They are designed, I believe, to go this way around. <laughs> they feel nice. Reach out for that, Maddie. Brand new, soft. <laughs> I like the ply, you get neoprene or you get ply. The neoprene are a little bit more like suitable for powerlifting I find. That's that kind of texture. You get longer sets out of this material. Neoprene is a little bit tight and makes you get a bit exhausted, but it's very good for like low rep ranges. So if you're trying to find a good support for like bodybuilding, I would definitely suggest the ply over the neoprene. If you're into powerlifting and you're going to do like low rep, one rep squats, two rep squats, neoprene might be better for you. Floral today. Very floral. So these are very simple because these don't have a thumb loop. So they, then you don't have to worry about, they're loopless. So it's basically just, I hear different methods actually. I hear some people say you should come slightly over near the palm to support the palm, if you're benching especially. So if you're bench pressing, you should be kind of like quite high. Whereas if you've just got bad wrists, a bit lower. But I think technically speaking, if you're pressing, you should kind of almost come right up to there. A lot of people can bench or lift more than they, their wrists allow. I failed quite a few one rep maxes on a bench, not because of my chest or triceps, actually because of my wrists. Um, when the wrist is faulted. 
Dat zijn die one man acties. That's the minimum amount of reps I like to get, so, you know, heavy set, six to 10. We'll do a little back off today. Reduce the weight by a certain percentage and then try and achieve like a 10 plus. So I'll probably drop down to three plates now and then try and get a few more reps. But that was good considering um, it's no Jordan Peters. He's been lifting like five plates aside lately. But I will be back, Jordan, don't worry, bruv. Objective now, to try and get a few more reps in the first set. Slip that 15 one out, so I'll get it over the hook. <sighs> Woo. Right, dumbbell press. We do a shallow incline. I still think it's good to prioritize that kind of upper chest um, for development on stage. The chest at the top is a really important part to have full, so a lot of the pressing will be priori primarily aimed towards that. Dumbbells are really good for that because you can obviously get that. Uh, you know, that stretch, and then you can converge nicely and get a good squeeze, so see what we can do. <laughs> Heavy. Right, same principle again. That's the heavy shit. We back off now so we get a reasonable amount of reps. That felt heavy. It didn't feel heavy there, it felt heavy there. <laughs> One of the bigger challenges with that is just picking it up. When you stand like that, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, this is, some, this is some heavy dumbbells. What I'll say is this, if you train for a movement, you will get strong on it. If you come away from a movement, you'll get weaker on it. It's just the way it is. I used to consistently dumbbell press. And if you stay with a movement for long enough, it just becomes so comfortable that you just do get strong with it. If you find yourself having to rotate exercises for many reasons, then don't get too married to the idea of how strong you used to be. Someone asked me this on Twitch the other day. They said, how do you feel about not being able to like lift the same amount of the movement after being away from it for so long? I said, it doesn't matter because you're going to be switching that movement for something else and progressing that. You can't be your strongest on every movement at one given time. Whatever your primary movement is, is going to be your strong movement. Obviously, I've been training a lot on like a hammer incline. So right now, my hammer incline is probably the strongest it's ever been. But it's a trade. Now my dumbbell press is weaker than it used to be. But you, you just got to look at it like, oh well, here's what it is. Train specific to you. Same with hack squats. I probably couldn't get on a barbell squat right now and squat seven plates for the reps I used to. But my hack squat is way stronger than it's ever been because I've been nurturing that exercise. So like I say, don't get too worried about being your all-time strength across all exercises, because it's just not possible. Focus on the ones you do choose, you know, and uh, improve them. And then in time, if you wish to go back to an old exercise and improve it again, go back to it. If you do care about that movement a lot, focus on that movement. <laughs> Yeah, toughs, tough grips. You would have seen these before, but we got our own ones now. 
I think this is like a demo pair. I don't know if they're out yet, but they will be. <laughs> so I'm going to use these today. I'm not really someone who uses these a lot. So I'll give them a go. Luke used to love using these. And I trained with Huddy, obviously last week, or well, the week before, and he was using these, so there must be something good about them. Just knowing what I want to do now on my back. All right, we're going to use the, uh, the Humbala, one of the heaviest freaking pull downs in existence. Um, I've opted to do a pull down that's a little bit more lat focused today. And then I'm going to do a row to follow, so. On my back day, I did an upper back row movement, which is when you hold it wide. Um, but today I'm going to do like a, a narrower grip, drive down with the elbow into this like kind of pocket a little bit more, just to try and think about actual lat activation. I don't like getting too scientific with this shit. You know what? I've been doing this for a long time, and it's kind of boring. But I will say it for the people that are newer. <laughs> you know. But bottom line is, have some good variety in your training, and lift with intent, and re relatively good form, and you're going to get what you want. So, I don't want to bore anybody, I'm here just to do the fucking work, but I understand that some of you might be brand new to this, so if I can give you any little pointers, I'll give them. Actually feels good. It's actually alright, because what it's doing is it's getting really heavy there, and then as I'm pulling down today, it drops off a little bit of the bomb, so you can get the contraction quite good. So, it's pretty decent. Two plates is no doubt working weight on here. I'm pretty sure. Watch me struggle now. <laughs> the grip feels good in these as well, I must say. Oh shit, it's very heavy now. Fuck my leg. Six. Oh, yeah. It's hard for eight. You can throw out a few others, but it'd be very messy. I don't want to like really risk that form. There's no point. But I felt pretty on the money. Seven. I think maybe a narrowish grip on here today. Especially holding it there, holding it really low down. Obviously, it essentially makes the bar shorter, so the load is a lot more fucking. Oh, like if I'm holding it there, that weight's so far in head, creating that. I don't know what words are coming out of my mouth right now, but obviously, if you hold something low down and the weight is further away from you, it's heavier. So if I hold it there, it'll be easier. But I'm holding it there today because I want to row narrow, so I basically just kill myself doing that. Four plates. Felt like ten. In seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Oh Jesus. That was hard. Yeah. Move over now to, to some cable laterals. Two different types of laterals all during the week. Today we'll just do like the single arm, the regular D handle. But you can do cuff variations, you can do dumbbell variations. There's plenty of choices. With this, I've limited the amount of weight I do now. I just focus on keeping it really where I want it. I have a habit of using traps, that's why I haven't really got delts. So I'm, I'm now like, when I'm pulling, I'm actually actually going lighter than I used to. I'm just trying to keep it on, keep those reps around that 15 mark. Just make sure I'm using the shoulder, really. 
And only way I can really ensure that is by going this slow. If I go any heavier than that, what happens is I just end up like using momentum. And I, you are still hitting some shoulder for sure, but to what degree? And naturally, I don't get a good connection with them, so I have to be more mindful. You know, so I, if you have a body part that you struggle to connect with, one thing I would say is slow it down, spend a little bit more time in the rep. That way, you get more time to get used to that feeling. Obviously, if you're doing reps fast, it doesn't leave you with much time to get familiar with that foot movement. So, you know, if you can't feel biceps, curl a bit slower. Can't feel shoulders, raise a little bit slower. Can't feel squats, squat a little bit slower. I guarantee if you squat slow, Maddie will put a test to this. If you squat down slowly and squat up slowly, you're gonna fucking feel it. So, uh, it's just the same kind of principle. Try to get that connection. Do two sets of rear delt and then uh, just finish with some abs. So it's basic stuff. So two chest, two shoulder, two back, ab. So let me be honest with you guys now, give you some feed of the current situation. So, supplements. Right now, for transparency purposes, educational, not for a recommendation, I've been running 300 milligram of testosterone a week. 300 milligram of Mastron per week. And then two weeks ago, I threw in 100 milligram of Tremblone a week. And, uh, I'm taking six, six IUs of HGH on training days. And uh, that's where I'm at right now. That's where I've been up for a while. The trend was a new addition. Just to encourage a little bit of fat loss. As I say, I'm doing like a bit of a tidy up right now. Um, I got up to like 310 pounds. I'm down to like 300, maybe just under 299. And uh, the plan really is just to like recomp and feel good about myself. Where that leads, I don't know. Uh, just now I needed to lose some weight because I was feeling really uncomfortable with digestion. Um, sleep was terrible. Uh, blood pressure was high. I've managed to get my blood pressure down from over 150. Um, the systolic down to 133. My diastolic's in the 70s and my resting heart rate is down to 70, which used to be at 90. So, just basically, by bringing my weight down, I'm just trying to basically rectify some issues and some numbers in my general health. Um, at the same time as trying to increase um, you know, appetite, improve my physique and just all around well-being. So right now it's just basically a well-being phase and uh, I feel pretty good. Do I feel like I w could be pushing things harder? Of course, but there's no point because you've got to weigh up quality of life, purpose, reasoning. Um, I always want to try and get the most, well I didn't always, I used to be a lot more rebellious and aggressive, but for the last few years since I turned 30, I'm far more focused on trying to eke out as much as I can out of doing less. And if it means working even harder, then that's fine. Last year was a good year for me competitively. I managed to get to the Olympia. And I had a, probably a sub, a sub 1200 milligram cycle weekly. Um, so if I can continue along that path and improve things, uh, then, I, then I will. Does it mean I'm less hungry because I don't want to go and shove a load of shit in my body? Not at all. I'm more hungry because I don't want to die in the process. I don't want to fucking kill myself and I want to be able to do it, especially like, you know, in the years to come. So, um, it don't mean you're soft because you don't want to take 900 fucking testosterone a week and a gram of Tren. It means you're being calculated and you wish to be around for a long time. So if anyone tells you any otherwise, 
in my opinion, fuck them. What have they done? Where are they now? Just be sensible, guys. Um, again, this is just for educational purposes and me to be able to share some knowledge. Focus on the nutrition, focus on good supplementation. Of course, a little sprinkle of that stuff is, is pretty much necessary, but I guarantee it's not as necessary as you think in regards to how much. So you still train hard, you still train heavy. Optimize recovery, optimize sleep, and just general well-being, and you'll still be able to go for a long time. Let's go back to the last set. Great. So that's all the upper body stuff done. I'm just going to finish with two ab exercises. I'm just going to superset, do three rounds on each. We're going to use the Cybex kind of forward leaning crunch and the uh, leg raise. How many people have we seen today? So We've had like a good, this is why I said like, when we were driving earlier, I was like, it's always good to get out and go somewhere different because you bump into people. And we bumped into probably, probably about seven or eight people today and had a good chat. Just bumped into Andy Pinnock. He's a good, uh, good friend from back in the day. Proper old school bodybuilder. Our, our big mate, as if from the gym, big powerlifter. Numerous people. It's just nice to see people. So everyone's in good spirits today. I think it's because the weather's good. So catch them on a rainy day. They'll be like pissed off, James. <laughs> um, but we're done. I'm going to get changed, get out of this way, put on the new Miami, uh, Hawaii. I get confused with Miami, Hawaii. Tough wraps. Um, again, just a basic session with just some principles there and some discussion. You know, a couple of topics we covered while we were training. Um, if you like the format of that training or if you want to know more about the format of training, just like comment below. Not all sessions are upper lower. Like I say, we do a push pull legs upper lower. Um, and you know, it's just bodybuilding at the end of the day. It's pretty basic. Keep it, keep it basic. Enjoy it. Put yourself in an environment that's positive and conducive. If you're in an environment that's not, get the fuck out of there and go elsewhere. And um, you know, reap the rewards and the benefits of having positivity around you. Not every day is going to be a good day, but it's up to you how you interpret that day and whether you let it bother you too much or not. Just want to say thank you to Maddie again for filming. Thank you to Muscleworks. Thank you to John. Um, thank you to everyone who we bumped into today. Like always, thanks to the sponsors, thanks to Yamamoto Nutrition for having me fueled throughout the workouts. Thank you to Gasp for clothing me. Thank you for Tough Wraps for keeping me elbows and my knees in a good place. Um, yeah, hopefully um, we'll catch up again in the coming weeks. We'll see what's what. And I'll, um, yeah, I'll see you before too long. Thanks again. Really enjoy having you guys on the channel and uh, we're continuously working towards making it even better. So. Thanks guys, have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. God bless you all.